Mary and welcome to my channel. In today's video, we're going to do an unboxing of a new Randall Spangler kit called a flower just for you. Look at that cute little image. Um, so this particular kit is a round. It is a limited edition as well. As of filming this in early September, this is still in stock. Um, but what limited edition means for Diamond Art Club is that once this product is no longer uh, in stock, it means that they will not restock it. So limited edition means this is your only chance to get it, basically. So inside our box here, we have our toolkit, of course. We'll get into that here in just a second. And we have our canvas and drills. And there it is. Okay. And our little sticker. So you can use this for your log book. Um, I will put these on the outside of my box uh, on the top because I store my kits upright. So you can really do whatever you like with this sticker and put it wherever you want. So let's take a look at that toolkit and see what is inside there. One fun thing to note is that you actually don't have to rip these toolkits open. You can just pull the top open apart like that. So first off in our toolkit, we have this little tray. It also comes with a stopper. I actually saw something interesting on someone's page once um, that was showing that this was actually the correct way to put this stopper in. And what you can do is use this little lever to lift this up like this. And then you have a little funnel here that your drills will come out of. Now, I don't know if that's actually accurate, but I, I really like that method. I think that's really smart. Anyway, so we have a tray there. We also have our Diamond Art Club wax. You have two pads of the heart wax. And one thing to note, and I always remind you, is make sure that you take the plastic off of there so you ensure that you get wax on your pen or in your pen, actually. So you can close that back up so it doesn't dry out. We also have our thin four placer and I should have a seven placer in here, but it looks like mine came with two fours. So somebody messed up, but that's okay. <laughs> so I have two fours, but it should be, I believe a four and a seven. It just says multiplacer times two. So I guess, I guess with the bag, they're, they're accurate. Um, we also have, a pen and a comfort grip squishy and that just allows you to diamond paint more comfortably um this one is a really pretty plum color and um and your pen may differ from mine you might get a totally different color than what i have but usually your pen and your squishy match we also have our bag of baggies and this is what you can use to kit up or kit down. Whenever you finish your painting, you can store your extra drills here, or while you're working on your painting, you could store your drills in here if you don't have a, a separate storage system. And last, but certainly not least, we have our two fun parts of the toolkit. First, we have our washi tape. So this one's a really sparkly, glittery foil. That's fun. It looks like I've got some coming up here, but <clears throat> I like to open them and look at them. Um, I've never seen one that's so sparkly in a Diamond Art Club kit, so that's exciting. <laughs> and then we also have a cover minder. So this is our little cover minder. It looks kind of like a four-leaf clover, and this has two magnets on the back. What you can do is take one magnet off, slide that under your canvas, peel your plastic back, and then like that your little cover minder will hold your plastic on your canvas back for you. So now that we've taken a look at this tool kit, let's take a look at the Diamond Art Club bag, the dust cover bag, and our canvas and drills. All right, so let's take a look inside this Diamond Art Club bag and see what we got as far as the canvas. Sometimes those bags like me and other times they don't. So we have our drills coming out here. Um, got a little pack of drills here. These are labeled, just in case you wanna store your kit and drills separately, you have a label here. 
You also have an insert here that uh, thanks you for your purchase with some instructions and some codes. There is a QR code to go to um, the VIP Facebook group. That's a fun place to go see what people in the community are up to. One for step-by-step -step instructions on how to diamond paint. A thank you code for your next purchase. And then also some QR codes for either the iPhone or Android. And these will allow you to download the Diamond Art Club app and your first purchase through the app is 20% off. So take advantage of that if you have never purchased on the app before. And then we have our larger logbook sticker. Um, I do use this one in my logbook because it has that start date and end date on it. You also have a larger image of the artwork. This kit is a 51 by 61 centimeter, so a little bit smaller than that that Diamond Art Club sweet spot. You also have some, um, some stickers here, and these are all individually cut stickers for you that you can use to uh, kit up your paintings. Uh, this particular kit has 43 colors, and of those 43 colors, we have three that are actually AB drills. So AB just stands for Aurora Borealis, and that is a special iridescent coating on the outside of the gems that just makes them sparkle a little bit more. Um, any number under 150, so any number under this 165 here, any number under 150 for Diamond Art Club is an AB drill, so it looks like we have three of them. We have a dark green, a light green, and a white. So we will take a look at those when we look at the drills here in just a second. But first, I wanna take a look at that canvas. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go ahead and pull this and I'm just gonna roll it backwards um, just for the sake of this video so it's flat. Um, one thing to note is if you have a canvas that has a white cover on it that is probably a double-sided adhesive canvas and you do not want to perform this rolling back maneuver um, really quickly too you have this nice uh, velvety backing you have your surged and scalloped edges so you don't uh nothing frays here at the bottom of the canvas you also have the uh, copyright information which just means that randall spangler the artist of this piece is getting fairly compensated by diamond art club for using his artwork in this diamond painting so here's our canvas oh my goodness it's so so cute um we also have our legend here at the top left and bottom right look how sweet Ugh, so adorable so the title of this kit is definitely a play on words. We have a flower just for you, but the flower is spelled like, you know, the, the petals on a flower um, instead of baking flour. So very, very cute. Um, I just, I don't know, I really like this one. So I'm glad that I picked this one up. Like I said, this one is limited edition, so your shot to get it is now if you want it. Um, but let's go ahead and take a look at our drills. All right, so first up with drills, we have a bag of 37, 21, 935, 937, 814, 890, 436, and 221. A short row here, 318, 414, 3799, and 318. 738, 762, 437, 415, 902, 471, and 898. We have our first AB, 108, and you can just kind of see that, that iridescent coating on there just looks a little different. This is a very big bag, so we're going to have a lot of that. 934, 434, 310. 435 and 3371 3864 798 961 400 3350 3871 3836 915 3776 and some smaller amounts here 129 are other ab and it looks like i misspoke um yeah it looks like instead of a light green it's actually yellow so i was wrong <laughs> um then we have 165 
413, 938, 38, 34, 37, 22, 141, there's our white AB, 300, and 317. So now I'm gonna go ahead and take these AB drills out and we'll take a look at where they are on the canvas. And just like that, we have our drills back in our bag. Wow, guys, I'm getting really good at this. Okay, so I went ahead and zoomed you out here. We have our three ABs. These are our symbols one, two, and three on the canvas. So we'll take a look at the greens first. And the reason we have so many of these is because they are actually everywhere um, where you see light parts of this dragon, um, highlighting the dragon. We also have them up in like that green fern up here and in the flower leaves up here. So they're really everywhere that's accentuating green, you have that AB, so it's pretty prominent. Um, our other one is this 129, our yellow, and we have a few stragglers in the bag, I noticed, uh -huh, but that's okay. Um, these are, I see them in the face of the dragon, um, up here, like in the center, along, um, along like the between the eyes and on the top of the nose. And then I also see them just highlighting the edges, like the curves on the dragon's ears. So um, I also, where I have the bag here, I see some just highlighting the curves in the bag of flour up here and here. And then last we have number three, our white AB 141. And this one is right where you think it would be um, this highlights the flower, the white flower emblem there, along with some of the I guess, grains of flower here. And then, of course, our little dragon toenails. Um, so there you have it. Here is this kit of flower just for you. Um, you have to let me know if you managed to snag this one. Yeah, I'm, I love it. It's very cute. Um, and I think it's a pretty reasonable size too. Um, it's a little bit smaller than um, some of the other Spanglers I have. So I feel like it could it could work up pretty quickly. Um, it's definitely a pretty good mix of confetti. Um, not really a ton of color blocking here. Um, but it does look like like while it's a lot of confetti, this is hard to explain, but this is where my brain goes. While this is a lot of confetti, I feel like it is not a lot of color changes in a small area. So like you're not gonna be changing colors multiple times. However, um, you know, you are going to be placing them a few drills at a time. Does that make sense? I don't know. Um, it made sense in my head, but <laughs> I feel like it's not going to be too, too bad. Um, and that'll work up pretty quickly. And yeah, it's just super cute. We have our little clock in the back. Um, and some flowers, of course. And yeah. I don't know what else to say about it. I just really love it. I'm glad I bought it. Anyway, um, yeah, like I said, let me know if you guys picked up this kit. And I hope you have a really wonderful day when you're watching this. And if you haven't yet, please subscribe. I would love to hang out with you here. Um, we do weekly whipping chats and vlogs along with lots and lots of unboxings. So come along for the ride. I would love to have you hang out. See you in the next one. Bye.